So I'll wait for everyone to get settled in back there. You all can sit down and bring the pizza to me. That's awesome. <laughs> So, uh, hello again. My name is Peter Hages, uh, and I'm here to give you my final presentation on uh, Mobile Notifier. If you don't remember, or if you've never been here before, uh, Mobile Notifier is an improved iOS notification system for Apple iOS devices, obviously. Uh, so, in previous talks, I've shown you several releases of Mobile Notifier that have been released, and they've been alpha releases. Uh, first, I showed you Alpha 1, which was a very, very early demo. Can I parse an alert? Can I add a view to Springboard? Can I put it at a window level above everything else? Can it be dismissible? Things like that. Wasn't that great. Couldn't handle multiple alerts, which kind of stinks. Uh, and it was just a, a good proof of concept. So that was Alpha 1. I also showed you uh, Alpha 2, which was way more advanced. This is what I showed you last time. Uh, as you can see, it handles multiple alerts. This is from my mom, I think. Uh, and you can tap alerts to take action. But it wasn't very intelligent with multiple alerts. If you dismissed one, it wouldn't often percolate the alerts back up. And it was just not, I didn't use it day to day, which should be telling. Um, so that was release alpha two. Uh, also, after my last presentation, I had another release that I was working on. Uh, I like to call it alpha 2.5. It wasn't really worthy of any official release. I was redoing a lot of the classes. And it was really just preparing for a transition from alpha two to the next release. So what is the next release? Um, so I, I've been working very hard recently and pulling a couple of all-nighters to make sure that I could get this out before the end of the semester. So I'm very pleased to be able to announce uh, Mobile Notifier Beta 1, and I thought I'd gear in with like Ubuntu and Android and stuff like that and start naming my releases after something. So this is uh, Awesome Apple Jacks. It's not actually fitting on the screen, but it's called Awesome <laughs> Apple Jacks. Like the cereal, we will be like. Uh, so, what does it look like? Um, this is what it looks like on an iPhone 4. Uh, this is not a mock-up. This isn't something I drew up. This is actually what it looks like. Uh, so let's talk about this. Uh, like I said before, this is not a mock-up. Uh, you can see that I've improved from previous versions and said SMS from whoever colon the message, uh, but you get like the first six characters of the message, which kind of stinks. Um, so I moved that up. There's now an alert header field, so it tells you who's talking to you. Uh, it's a full SMS and MMS system takeover. So after the text message shows up on the phone, nothing Apple runs. Like nothing that Apple wrote runs at all. I take care of everything. Uh, this doesn't even hit the normal Springboard Alert subsystem. So it's pretty, it's pretty deep in there, and it works pretty well. Uh, it's ready to display ready, which means it'll work on the newest iOS devices, the iPhone 4 and the original or the, and the fourth gen iPod Touch, but it works across all iOS devices, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, also, it's got extremely mature interfaces for interfacing with the, uh, with the class. Uh, you can do things like query the alert manager, tell it to display new, new alerts, tell it to add a new background alert if you don't want the user to be aware of it in the foreground, and all sorts of other fun stuff. And I can tell you, after only using it for a little bit, it's a joy to use, and it's way, way better than the stock Apple system. So that's uh, Mobile Notifier Beta 1, awesome Apple Jacks. Uh, and I'd like to give you a demo. So uh, again, this is not like very Apple supported, connecting the phone to the projector. Um, but it works pretty well. So this is my phone uh, running a development version of awesome Apple Jacks. And when I say that, um, I still have the stock Apple alert pop up, just to give you a side by side comparison. Uh, but I can assure you that this is totally, totally hooked in in the actual release. If you were to install the code on your device, none of the Apple stuff will run. So this is my phone. Uh, the little circle's where I'm touching. So let me start the text app. You can see like all these messages are at like 6 in the morning and stuff like that. And they just go back in time. It's been tough. So <laughs> I'm going to say hello. And uh, send, the, send the message and duck out. So we'll see. Uh, this is the stock Apple alert. As you can see, this stinks. If you hit close, you'll never get it back. 
What did that text message say again? I didn't want to read it right now. I was reading my email, that kind of thing. So if we tap close, we can see my alert up here. So you'll notice this alert appears at the top of the screen, comes below the status bar. I like how it's like no reception. Um, you can tap it to take action. You can tap the X, not to dismiss, but to send it away. So you can later on read it. Let's say you're reading your email. I don't want to deal with that right now. Shoot it away. Um, but the important part is, and the key feature, is that the phone continues to work. Uh, we can browse the web, the start apps, everything. And when we're ready, we just tap the alert. And it launches the SMS app and puts us back into the relevant conversation. I'm still dealing with this conversation parsing. It's not as good as it could be, and it's not to a point where I'm proud of yet, so I'm working on that. Uh, so that's a demo of beta 1. So uh, that's mobile notifier beta 1. Now, when I built this project and when I first started this project, I decided that I really wanted to link against iOS 3.0. Now, what does that mean? Uh, when the original iPhone launched, it launched with OS 1.0, and then following releases, they increased. There have been four major releases, or five, I guess. One with the original iPhone, two with the 3G, three with the 3GS, four with the iPhone 4, and kind of 3.2 with the iPad. Um, the, the newest release that the oldest iPhone can run and the last release it will ever run is iOS 3. So what this means is Mobile Notifier will work, as I said last time, on all of these devices. Uh, and to prove this to you, because this is actually a pretty bold claim, a phone made in 2007 can run software written in late 2010. Uh, I'd like to give you a demo of Mobile Notifier Beta 1 running on an original iPhone. Uh, so back in 2007, I guess my parents didn't like me enough or something like that, because I, I never had an original iPhone. But I bought one off Matt. And so, this is a, an original stock iPhone from uh, 2007. And uh, unfortunately, this is a little crummy because we, uh, I don't have the fancy display software. It's a, this phone's actually way too old. Um, but you can see uh, it works. So this is the original iPhone. This is the same thing here. The display's a little laggy, unfortunately, because it's VNC as opposed to patching the frame buffer. But when I tap the SMS, It'll launch mobile SMS now. Oh, geez, I should have charged this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, the issue is, is that this phone actually doesn't have a SIM card or isn't activated. Um, it's never been used to send text messages. So it'll launch the text app. This is, I'm forging a notification. Uh, it'll launch the text app, but it won't be able to do anything. But if I tap uh, launch SMS, it wants me to send a new text message, which will never really get there because the phone isn't on the network. So that's to prove that it actually does work indeed on, uh, on original devices. Let's go back. Um, so that's Mobile Notifier Beta 1. Uh, it's available right now at my GitHub URL. And it's going to hit a repository soon. So you can actually just fire up Cydia, add a source, or hopefully it'll be in one of the community sources, download the package, and start using it right away. Uh, like I said, it replaces the entire Apple <laughs> SMS alert subsystem, so be knowledgeable. Uh, so that's Mobile Notifier. That's my progress for this semester. Thanks, obviously, to Morthy for hosting the project, Sean O'Sullivan for helping fund the Rensselaer Center for Open Source, uh, Dustin Howlett, who's the guy who wrote the make file system that I use, and he's been providing a lot of help with iPhone classes and things like that, uh, Dave Doria for his continued support, and uh, everyone else. Uh, I'm really, really thankful that, you know, for example, my roommate's willing to wake me up in time to come and make this presentation, you know, when I was up all night and things like that. Um, so, that's Mobile Notifier. Uh, it's an improved iOS notification system, and I think it's the best thing out there for iOS notifications. It's definitely the most free. Uh, so, with that, are there any questions? Will this only run on jailbroken devices? Correct. So the way that I hooked into the SMS subsystem requires that I'm on a jailbroken device. I can't be really truly running in the background or anything like that. Definitely not intercepting events without Apple's being irritated. John? So your goal is to kind of you know, be able to continue your workflow despite getting these text messages. So the question I have is, if your friends you know, send you a couple that kind of spam you or maybe a couple different people, does it fill up your screen, or how does that work when you get multiple messages? Yeah, definitely. So it'll fill up the screen, and it'll start to come down. And let's say I, um, I start clicking once in the middle and stuff like that to dismiss them. They'll just pop back up until the last one's there, and then you can dismiss that or take action on it. 
Uh, so, so it will done. flood your screen, though, it sounds like. Correct. Currently, it will flood your screen. Um, and so the solutions for that are, I'm going to add an alert dash that lets you do a checkup on your text messages. Uh, you could also consider getting new friends. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brendan Ashby. Uh, last time you presented, you said that you couldn't handle long strings. If it was longer than the display, it was just kind of dot, dot, dot. You said you were, you were going to have it like, scroll? Correct. So currently, there's some uh, preliminary support for scrolling text in the code right now. Um, obviously, that problem's been greatly alleviated by the fact that I actually have the full width of the, the full 3 to 20 points to display all the text on. Um, but that's coming in a future release. Uh, then, yeah, do you have any preferences for it right now? Like, can we That's actually and... a great question. Um, currently in Mobile Notifier, I ship a very, very basic uh, settings pane, which I was actually shocked when I did the, uh, the commit that it actually imported it and I forgot. So, I don't know if you know about the iPhone, it's got a settings app, a central place for all the settings on your phone. So if we scroll down, uh, right here, Mobile Notifier settings. So Right now, it was just me playing around with the settings framework, so I like added every different kind of like view and made sure that it told me who it was, so I know what was going on. Let's get this like cool slider. I can turn this on. So now it's on, so you better watch out. <laughs> but it's got preliminary uh, settings support, and obviously, I can parse this from within my app and everything like this, or within my system. So this will be added soon. That's a good question. Thanks for asking. Martin? Yeah. So you, do you have a different? Um, Fonts or different colors for different friends and so on? Yeah, definitely. So I ship a couple colors um, with it. I ship like a green, blue, yellow, and I think red. Um, yellow is more of an orange because I like orange. Uh, <laughs> but it's also fully themable by this. Um, there's a theming app for the phone called Winterboard that's very popular in, jail, in the jailbroken scene. And that's fully capable of skinning mobile notifier. It doesn't have to look like it does right now. It can look like whatever you want. Uh, is there possible to? No, no, go for it. Is it possible to add a, like an Android style notification where you have some some some, pl some central place that holds that notifications instead of popping them on the screen? Correct, exactly. So I'm planning this uh, this feature called Alert Dash, which is going to kind of exist above the screen that you're going to be able to pull down and check out and right. be able to access. But that's definitely a plan. Um, okay. And it's going to differ from the Android style. Uh, Android has something that's called I don't know if you guys know ongoing notifications. To me, that makes like absolutely no sense. Like a notification happens once. That's like an ongoing time for like a bus to arrive. Like it's, I'd rather have notifications that happen one time. I think that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you all of your examples have been text messaging so far. Call mobile notifier. Does it support more than just text messaging? Yes. So there's preliminary support in beta one for push notifications, for example, for maps like Facebook and things like that. I'm also going to be adding support, uh, not in this release, but in future releases for low battery alerts like we saw earlier, you know, 20% remaining, um, charging notifications, your device is fully charged, things like that, and I'll be adding those alerts. And those will be obviously configurable and everything. You can know every percent when your battery dies. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, yep. Um, is it possible uh, to expect maybe like an SP settings toggle, so you can like toggle on and off? Correct, so if you guys don't know, SP settings is uh, a little thing that runs at the top of the phone here, so if I swipe my status bar, it drops down and lets you configure all these fun options. Um, so, SP Settings is written by a guy named Big Boss. Uh, it's closed source. And to like write one of these, it's like the shadiest thing in the world. Like you have to package like something that's written in C that links against this weird library that no one really knows where it is. And I think it was built against before the iPhone had apps, like some really ancient version of some weird springboard subclass. Um, there's an open source version of this coming called Swift. Uh, and I will be adding support. Um, if I can hack up, you know, SB settings support quickly, I'll add it. Um, but it's definitely going to be in Swift, which is a planned open source re-implementation of this. Any other questions? All right, cool. Well, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, I look forward to being here next time.